That was him. What's up everyone, back on my channel and I hope this time the volume will be a bit better. Um, as you might have known, I got this new microphone and my last video, the volume was a bit too low when I was talking. And then the audio of the video was obviously too loud, so it didn't really mix well. So I hope I figured out a solution with this one here. So let's hope it's gonna work out. Today's video is gonna be a really interesting video. First of all, it's actually really dark outside. So it's in the middle of the night, but I need to follow up on a few reactions, you know, and this technical issue really kicked me out of my schedule. So now I'm back on here. Um, and it's a really interesting one because the band is called Aerion or Aerion. And it's actually a musical project by Anthony Lucassen. He's a Dutch multi-instrumentalist, uh, singer, producer, songwriter, he's everything. Maybe a pilot, uh, a captain, whatever, he's everything. And this is, by the way, a live version from Tilburg three years ago. And one of my patrons, Eileen, told me to react to this one. And then she said, uh, it's gonna be with Hansi from Blind Guardian, Valhalla. You remember that one? And also Floriansen. So I really can't wait. And then it's even the live version. So come on, guys, let's do this, right? Let's dive right in. All right, here we go. And it's actually really funny. It says Aerion Universe, Age of Shadows. So I don't even know what this is now. Maybe a different band. Anyways, let's check it out. This looks and sounds already completely insane. You know guys, that really looks and sounds insane already. I mean, I mean you got these crazy lightning cranes just, you know, pointing into the audience, you got this band, you got everything, it's just visually insane right now. And then you got this one guy just playing the violin. Did, 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 did. So, I mean, if I see a video or a performance in this case, starting out like that, I know something is about to go down and I can't wait to see it. Let's go. <laughs> Man, these things are crazy. It's actually funny because you really can hear Marco as well. I was not expecting that at all. I thought Flo Jansen and uh, Hansi. And he's also <laughs> wearing a Scottish kilt. Why not? Well, there he is. You know, it's funny right now. I mean, of course, it's a huge surprise. I was really not expecting Marco at all. When you hear them both sing, it sounds really good, to be honest with you. But what I found really interesting, again, as of right now, is that the violin is actually really having a dominant part in this song. It's not like you just, you know, it's not it's not like you use the violin to uh, add some accents, you know, on the back or whatever it is. And the main music is actually the drums, you know, the guitar and bass, as it's normally the case. But it's rather that the violin is really, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just this version, but I can hear the violin the whole time. And again, that makes the song... Uh, a bit more interesting to me. So let's continue with Marco and Hansi. Unbelievable. <laughs> and why is he actually wearing a kilt? I mean, the better question would be, why not? Everyone should wear a kilt at some point in life. What do you think? 
Exactly. Okay, so now the violin is gone. Okay, so now I get it. Uh, the one guy, Arjen Anthony Lukasen. So I guess I don't know if it's maybe him right now on the keyboards, but he's not really in the you know in the front singing. So he's not really the singer. Um, it's rather like it's his you know it's his musical project, and it also really sounds like a musical project. It's not. It's just like a really crazy atmosphere. It just really sounds good, really good actually. But. Um, yeah, it doesn't really sound, and I don't mean it in a bad way, it doesn't really sound like a normal band. It really sounds more like a concept, you know what I mean? So I really dig that. And another thing is that I don't know exactly how many people are on stage, but it looks like, it looks and sounds like seven, eight, nine. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Oh no, she's coming. Every time Flo Janssen approaches the stage, you never know what to expect. The only thing that really matters is the way your body and your mind responds to her performance, you know, because she's just always on point, always amazing. And in this case, I couldn't handle it anymore, so I grabbed a piece of bread and just ate something. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I mean, this is from 2017, it says here. So by then, she's been already a few years in Nightwish, man, but I mean, I don't know what to say anymore. That was maybe 30, 40 seconds of her singing and these 34 seconds sounded A plus perfectly. And guys, trust me, I can't wait for the greatest show on earth and even best Zangers uh, videos. Now they got everything under control here, my uh, technical chaos, it's time for the greatest show on earth. So right now it's actually Sunday night. I think Tuesday should be the day. Seriously, I was actually planning on doing it this weekend, but then this whole mess happened. So guys, Tuesday, greatest show on earth. Night wish. Let's continue. And Marco sings so good. That was him. Hamzi. Very deep within us all. You are amazing! Thank you! Yes. Well, that was it. All right, guys, that was it. And to be honest with you, the end came really surprisingly. I thought, okay, we're going to see another minute or two of that epicness. I guess it's enough for today. So I think it's time for next song. I think it's time, as I said earlier, for Tuesday. 
greatest show on earth. And what I totally forgot because I was so mesmerized by, of course, Floor and then Marco and all this crazy setup, that I really forgot about Hansi singing, or actually in this case screaming a bit more, you know, more with distortion, because in, uh, in the Blind Guardian song that I did, uh, Valhalla, I didn't really hear him scream or, or, or shout or growl or sing with distortion at all. So that was really cool to see a different uh, side to him. Really amazing. Um, again, I like this song. I think it was way too short, especially if you include three singers. I think it should have been at least a six, seven or eight minute song. That's just my opinion. Really awesome. And I also think that the floors part was a bit too short. Man. Ah. So please let me know if there's actually another song like that with that combination or maybe a different uh, artist. Really awesome, man. It's always good to see different artists collaborated with each other. You know, that makes everything better. And especially if you imagine from a standpoint of a fan, I mean, imagine your favorite bands coming together and perform together for you. I mean, that's always the best case scenario. I remember when I was younger, I always imagined, man, what happens if Korn uh, uh, performs with Metallica or Slipknot? You know what I mean? That was always like, oh, this needs to happen. And I don't know why, but b back then it really wasn't that common. And nowadays I have the feeling that it's way more common. So we are really lucky nowadays. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank you, Eileen. And again, it's really dark here, so I'm a bit more calm today. Or maybe not. No, okay, that was it. Enjoy your day, enjoy, enjoy your diet, enjoy your week, whatever it is. And uh, see you then on Tuesday for Nightwish, all right, guys? Take care. Bye-bye.